well, I definitely do think kind of the actions of consumption have been entirely separated and removed without consequence from the actual act of production. So when you're looking at a, a bunch of that countertop or even you know a solid wooden cabinet, you see it as a product and aren't really aware of the process that's gone into it or the organic, living, moving piece of wood it originated from. There was, um, there was this riddle from when I was younger. And if I remember correctly, it goes, what has limbs but no arms, roots but no hair, and a crotch but no legs? And the answer is a tree. And what I really like about this riddle is that it kind of brings to your attention that although trees and us don't have the same cognitive capabilities, we are still similar in that we're alive, we move, we grow and change. And so with this latest project, I kind of wanted to create something that would remind you of that kind of movement and energy that would be truly unique and ultimately would harness the materials and natural properties rather than trying to conform them to a preconceived notion of beauty. Does that mean and could I rather be known? 
Zenin.